So summer is upon us, there's butterflies and shit, and you might be thinking, I need a barefoot sandal, it's hot, I don't want crampy sandals with arch support. I have two sandals, uh, one I've used for many years, the other, an interesting new contender, but it has some problems you're not going to like. I'm reviewing and comparing the Zero sandal versus the Field Grounds. A battle ensues. <laughs> Let me paint you a scenario. I'm in Thailand. I have a rash on my foot and I'm wearing beach shoes and it's like nylon covering my foot. It's so hot outside. I'm thinking these shoes are causing my rash. So I look for barefoot sandals and I find this one, the Zero Trek Trail, whatever, ZV Trail something. I have scary wide feet and it's almost impossible to find a shoe and on their site you can print out an actual real life sized foot pattern and put your foot in it and see if it fits. So I did, I did that, it was like 11. Yes, it does fit, okay. So I ordered them, could not freaking believe how comfortable they've been. It's almost like you don't notice them. Fantastic shoe, I've worn these so much. I've walked so far across Asia, back in Toronto, in the winter sometimes with sandals. They're definitely starting to show their wear on these. It's a lot of foot patterns, stuff wearing off, and but the sole's still good. There's no reason to upgrade. They're still very comfortable. I did buy another pair. I got these red ones just because the sole was looking a little scruffy, but then I stopped wearing these and I want to run these into the ground and see what happens. How long will they last? It's been since 2018. So, so far so good, like five years wearing them a lot. Totally, I'm, I'm so happy with them. So Field Grounds reached out to me and they said they have a new sandal coming out, the Patrol. And I'm like, okay, it looks almost identical to my Zero and I love their boot. That freaking boot is like a vegan leather. It's so comfortable and wide and waterproof and warm. It's like, yes, okay, Field Grounds, they're making a sandal now, let's do this. Let me show you why I don't like this new Field Ground sandal as much as the Zero. Okay, here we have side by side the Zero on your left, Field Grounds on your right. Now, what you'll see immediately is just the thinness of the sole here. Look how much wider that is. It's just something you notice. Like it's so wide and nice here, but then here is like a nightmare thin zone. So like the straps, they're so much closer together here. You feel them. These I don't feel. Like it's a very soft material here and my foot's like splaying over them. It doesn't matter. It's very soft and flexible. Whereas this one, it's harder. It's much noticeable, like sharp corners here. It's like nylon sharpness versus soft, pliable, like cotton. Feels like cotton, like it's so soft. There's no harsh edges anywhere. Very flexible, whereas this is like, like luggage straps or something. It's sharp, like you could probably cut your finger doing it. And that's like the main thing I notice and you cannot adjust them very much. Like these are very wide and open. For whatever reason, you can adjust these more, but they're always so tight because if you pull it more, this Velcro piece will come in. And then once it does, that's poking into your foot. So it's like you can never really get them loose enough. Sorry for my crackhead fingernails. Oh, I should have cut those before the show. The one positive about this system is like, it feels more secure. Like you're very tightened in. Whereas these kind of slide around a lot. I wear them loose and I don't mind it. I just, I never notice it being a problem. Like my foot, if I end up going like my toes are coming out here, like I just kick as I walk and they readjust and I'm used to that. Whereas when I wore these, I was like, oh, that's nice. They're nice and tight. and. I don't slide around, so they're more agile, but not as comfortable. These even have like a big lip here that comes out, supports your heel. This, you fall off a flat earth cliff. Oh, be careful with that one. And the last thing is these are just very basic looking. I don't know, they're style matters kind of. Like I got these red ones and they're like red and black accents. And even the strap is like 
designed and looks natural, almost like plaid or something. Whereas these are like shiny nylon, very basic looking. And my girlfriend's, they were like bright green and they didn't look great on her. They weren't very flattering, but you do get used to these. Like it's not terribly uncomfortable. If I had to wear these all the time, like I could totally do it, but it's just, it's not as comfortable as these. Zero all the way for comfort. These are more secure, but I don't know. And yes, these are linen shorts, by the way. Oh, look at those. I'm a 90 year old man. I love that. So I don't know, man, you tried. Good, good effort. You tried it. My fiance, they sent us a pair. I was like, do you mind sending my fiance a pair too? We'll match and it'll be great. And they did that. They're so generous. My fiance could not even wear them. She was like, ow, these are painful. Like we went for a little walk. I was like, come on, hun, for the review, just one little walk. She was like in pain. She suffered through it. Like she'll never wear those again. They were not good. And I'm finding them less comfortable than my zeros. So like, they're not quite there yet. You need to just improve some of the things I mentioned and then you'll have something, you're close. You copy the outlay. I like the tribal tattoo triangles that I get on my foot from that pattern. But I don't know, back to the shop on that one, I think. So the zero is still king in my opinion. Feel grounds, it's not terrible, it's still wearable, but you notice them, a little stabby in some areas. Eh. So thank you Feel Grounds for sending out your attempt at a nice sandal. Back to the drawing board on that one. Thank you though for participating and thank you for thumbing up the video. You thumbed it down, I think by accident, but if not by accident, it's definitely because you made a sandal out of roadkill. Just because you could do it, doesn't mean they'll smell nice. How are you gonna tie the skunk leather together? Are you gonna actually use skunk intestines? That would be the most obvious choice for the rope material, but I doubt it's a good idea. It's a bad one, actually. I hope you smell worse and flies swarm you. I'm gonna leave. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.